Hey guys, today I'm gonna to explain something that I know have been on your minds if you've ever gone and tried to buy a hard drive, either external or internal. You'll definitely notice when you go to the store and see the advertisement on the box, it'll say either something like one terabyte, 500 gigabytes, and then when you go home and install it on your computer, if you're using Windows, you'll notice that the hard drives are significantly smaller than what is advertised on the box. A lot of people will say that this is false advertising or that the manufacturer is lying about the size of the hard drives, but this is actually not the case. They are telling the truth. It all comes down to units. You see, when you buy a hard drive, the manufacturer will almost always display the size of the hard drive in gigabytes or terabytes. Now, a gigabyte is 1,000 megabytes and a terabyte is 1,000 gigabytes. However, Windows actually measures hard drive space in something called mebibytes and gibibytes. It does not display that it's using these units, it displays the gigabyte and megabyte unit, which leads to a lot of confusion. You almost definitely have not heard of these units, so I'll try to break it down. You see, the megabyte unit is MB, capital MB, and gigabytes is capital GB, but gibibytes is capital G, lowercase i, capital B, and mebibytes is capital M, lowercase i, capital B. So while Windows is truly measuring in gibibytes and mebibytes, it's displaying megabytes and gigabytes. So when you plug in your hard drive, it's showing the wrong units. If you plug in a terabyte hard drive, it'll probably be about 931 gigabytes displayed in Windows. Now that's not true. It's actually 931 gibibytes because a gibibyte is slightly larger than a gigabyte. If you were to plug it into Linux, which measures in actual gigabytes, you will see that the hard drive is 1,000 gigabytes. You can do the math yourself. A gibibyte is 1.074 times the size of a gigabyte. So if you divide 1,000 by that unit, 1.074, you will get 931, which is the size that Windows displays it as. Now I'm going to clear up some misconceptions about gigabytes and megabytes. A lot of people seem to think that there are 1,024 megabytes in a gigabyte, but there are actually 1,024 mebibytes in a gibibyte. And there are, in fact, 1,000 megabytes in a gigabyte. Now, this misconception comes from random access memory manufacturers, RAM manufacturers. When they display on their box that they have 4 gigabytes of RAM, for example, you'll see that it says 4,096 megabytes of RAM. Now, they're actually measuring in gibibytes and mebibytes again because there are 1024 mebibytes in a gibibyte but again they display it as gigabytes and megabytes they do this because most people are familiar with just using gigabytes and megabytes they've never even heard of gibibytes and mebibytes now you're probably wondering where they came up with this unit gibibytes and mebibytes they're not a million or billion bytes like megabytes and gigabytes so why do they have this odd unit 1.074 Gigabytes? Where did they come up with that? It's actually pretty simple. You see, giga, the prefix, means billion, or 10 to the 9th. So a gigabyte is a billion bytes. And likewise, mega means million, so that's a million bytes, or 10 to the 6th. But mebi and gebibytes are a little bit different. You see, while megabytes and gigabytes are 10 to the 6th and 10 to the 9th bytes, respectively, Mebibytes and gibibytes are binary multiples, which mean that they're 2 to the 20th bytes and 2 to the 30th bytes, respectively. So for a mebibyte, you multiply 2 times itself 20 times and do the same thing for a gibibyte 30 times. Now, as you can see, when you do this, you're not going to get a nice round number like a billion bytes. You're going to get a strange number, like specifically a mebibyte is about 1.04 times 10 to the 6th. Now this inconsistency is pretty much just for Windows. Ever since Mac OS version 10.6, they've been reading file size and disk space as megabytes. And Linux does this as well, but Windows still reads gibibytes and mebibytes as gigabytes and megabytes. So I hope that was pretty clear. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Now hopefully when you go to and buy a hard drive, you can understand where the sizes are coming from and why it might be a little smaller depending on your computer when you plug it in. Again, I hope this was really useful and be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and thanks for watching.